Hello everybody, this is the Carl Man from the Boys Rule Boys Read blog and we are very grateful and very honored to have with us a great author, Mr. Charles Smith. Mr. Charles Hello, Arson. boys. How are you doing Mr. Smith? I'm good. Good. Welcome to Charlotte. We're glad you're here. Great to be here. I always love coming down south, particularly Charlotte. Okay. Well, I want to ask you just a couple of basic questions if you don't mind. Um, I'd like to know why do you think it's cool for boys to read? Um, it's important for everyone to read, but boys in particular, because as boys, speaking as one myself, I know we like doing lots of things, but uh, when you read, you get to learn about lots of things and help you do other things that you might not have known about. Um, reading about, you know, different places, different subject matter that you might not get to cover in school, uh, and then go, you know, physically do it on your own. Uh, reading really inspires the imagination and once you have that imagination you can just run with it cool well now you're a poet you've written some fantastic stuff I've, I've become a big fan of yours why did you why is it cool for boys to read and or write poetry well i mean poetry is just a, another form of writing and storytelling but good poets can also tell stories uh, poetry is a little more expression oriented and what I've tried to show through my books is that poetry isn't just about love and birds and trees <laughs> it could be about basketball it could be about baseball it could be about Greek mythology it could be about anything um, and more than anything poetry is fun to write because if you write in a rhyming style it can sound like a song and we all like hearing songs so uh, you know poetry should be appreciated by all, but particularly boys because, like I said, if they if boys come to understand that it's not just about the things that I said before, like love and stuff, then they'll have a new appreciation for words because mm -hmm. that's ultimately what poetry really focuses on. Yeah, poetry is really a celebration of stuff. Indeed. So, and Indeed. sports is good as any. Let's tell you what, uh, what made you decide to write about sports, and basketball in particular? Um, I've been a big fan of basketball. I played it since I was a kid. Mm, Never dude. played, you know, professional or anything. Mm -hmm. I just always played it for fun. Um, and when I did my first book, which was about basketball, uh, I had photographs of, you know, basketball. So it was easy for me to write poems to the photographs. Um, once that was done, then I realized I could do poems about sports. It was almost like a whole door opened mm -hmm. up because when I was in school. You know, like I said, the poems that I got introduced to were love and trees and birds mm -hmm. and nature. And, and nobody ever showed me any sports poems. <laughs> uh, so once I kind of opened that door to others, to, to that sport, then I realized I could probably do it with lots of other sports. Cool. Well, would you do us a favor and read us a poem, maybe from your Hoop Kings book? Sure. Normally yeah. I perform my poems, um, and they're very expressive. I'm not going to jump up and move around. Okay. But one, one that I will share. That I can step back a little bit. Well, that's okay. One that I'll just share that, you know, is real simple and more than anything is pretty cool to see is a uh, poem in my book, Who Kings? Mm -hmm. uh, the players, 12 NBA players, different poems that the book is about. Um, the poem is for Shaq. Oh, him. yeah. And his poem is a really simple one. And the name of his poem is called What's in a Name. And as you can see, there's a fold that you can't quite even see I'm the poem. You see him and you see that. That's I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Okay. It's because it's a fold out. Oh. And the poem is a very simple one. It says, just his name written vertically. And it says, Superhuman Atomic Quake. One word after each letter in his name. Um, and that's the essence of what poetry is right there in that simple little poem. It's not about the most words, the biggest words, the fanciest words. It's simply about the right words. And if it takes you just four words to say what you got to say, then you did your job as a poet. Now, the reason you'll see that this is quite big is this is actually Shaq's shoe size. Mm -hmm. We had to add this fold-out page to accommodate <laughs> his shoe, which is size 22. Mm. That's a big man. That's a big man. Mm -hmm. Big feet. Yeah, once I got to see him, got close up to the court, and he, it's amazing. You don't see why the floor doesn't shake every time he jumps. Yep. Now you know why he has a hard time shooting free throws, because it's like the average person shooting a ping pong ball. 
<laughs> That's true. Well, I got one last question for you. What do you think the Bobcats' chances are now that Larry Brown's going to be coaching? I hope Larry Brown doesn't poison them the way he did with the Knicks. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> because I speak from experience. We uh -huh. had with the Knicks, and, you know, I love Larry Brown. He's coached some, some teams to some winning seasons, but I hope that, you know, as he gets older, he plays these young guys. It's a young team. Mm -hmm. um, they got some great players, you know. Uh, Adam Morrison's a great player, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, Don't forget Omeka. Of course, Omeka. He escaped my memory for a second. Mm -hmm. Omeka Ekafor. Um, uh, so there's there's a lot of great players there. Um, they need playing time, though. And uh, I really hope that uh, Larry has changed his ways and, and really is a teacher. Not just says he's going to be a teacher, but really is a teacher. Yeah. And, you know, teaches the young guys what they need to know. Well, I understand he's working those guys hard. So, uh, oh, so we'll see. He, he, that's never been the question. <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> so can they play? You can work hard, but can you play? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. When, when he was coaching the Knicks, it was a different team on the floor almost every single mm. night. So, and that got a little tiring and, you know, uh, just didn't work. But, you know, it's a new city, mm -hmm. new situation, mm -hmm. uh, new players, a predominantly young team. So I think by default, he's going to have to play a lot of these young guys. Well, go Bobcats. And thank you, Mr. Smith. My pleasure. Guys, I'm going to show you some of his books here. This is If a Parent's a Father's Advice to His Son. Every guy needs to read this book. I Am America, a fantastic book celebrating all the different diversity of America. Twelve Rounds of Glory, an awesome book. I remember the days of Muhammad Ali. This is it. That he lived an epic life, and you've written an epic story here. Gave it a great treatment. Oh, Hoop Kings, of course, <clears throat> and the Mighty Twelve. I mean, if you like Greek mythology, this is the one. Or comic books. Or comic books, especially all you Percy Jackson fans out there. Okay. Well, thank you again, and have a good time in Charlotte. Thanks a bunch, guys. Keep reading.